Hello? Charlie, no, you still got a key? I did not first. I heard you. I wanted to talk to you. I don't want to hear it. You want to bet? I'm leaving for a few months. And I might not be coming back. So, good news, eh? You don't have to see me anymore. Yep. Well, you got somewhere I'm going so you can avoid bumping into me. I know where you're going. You're sailing off on that boat with Peter. That's right. Hey, maybe you'll get lucky and we'll hit a rock. Or get you by shark. Do you think you're funny? No. I just wanted to let you know. It's a new start. No. It's a way for you to forget about Charlie and Lexi. Maybe, yeah. Well, guess what? I'd be happy for you. I want you as far away from me as possible. But it's not happening. What do you mean? I heard Peter in the cafe telling Simon. Or should I say, I heard Simon telling Peter that he doesn't want him to go with you. Right. And that's not even the funny bit. The funny part is it took Peter less than a second to side with him. Say, uh, and these were his exact words, that you meant nothing to him. What? Ask him yourself. You're not going, Mum. One word from his son and he decided that's it. So you and him, over. You see, there's a bloke who actually gives a stuff about his kids. Oh, no, all right. He loves Simon, but he couldn't care less about you. So now, you've got nobody. You're all alone, Mum. You're a joke that's not even funny. Leave the key when you go, yeah? Thank you. Cheers. We got your glass. Abby, when were you going to tell me it was all off? Eh? I was just, just about to ring you. Yeah, well, it's a bit late. Seb got there first, and he loved it. Particularly the bit about me meaning nothing to you. Hang on. Just, I didn't mean it like that. I Abby, promise you. What's happened? Oh, don't you know? I thought everybody knew. Apparently, I'm not going to Catalonia anymore. The thing is, I was a bit hasty. Oh, really? So you invited Sorry. me to sail away with you? For for months on end on a whim. No, no, I should have discussed it with Simon first. I'm so sorry. So how long did you try to change his mind? Because the way Seb tells it, you didn't try very hard. No, but you know what he's been through. I had to put him first. You know that. Come here. What, like me, who doesn't give a stuff about a kid, you mean? You sound like Seb. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so you've said. Abby. Abby. Go away. Hey, you gotta have a drink with Tim and Sally. I said go away. That's not the answer. Don't patronize me. Have you found it? Yeah, come on, let's go inside. Abby. Do you know what really gets to me? What? I didn't mind that it was just a bit of fun. I'd accepted that you were going and I wasn't. And then I was. You're the one who persuaded me. I know, I, I didn't know what I wanted. So you thought you'd bunk up with me until you decided? No. Oh no, what, what am I saying? The only reason you invited me was to make Carla jealous. So go on then, you've got what you wanted. Jog on back to her. Hey. Let's go make them mind and talk about it. Please. You scum. I hope you both sinks. 